Hello, I'm Darius Cook, known as Darius the Nerd, also better known as the host to The Cosplay Chat. And the reason I make that show, the YouTube channel, is because I am a huge fan of cosplay. It is a wonderful expression of people's love and compassion for comics, shows, TVs, and just about anything else. But I need to talk to you about a very dark spot in the cosplay community. I am talking about the convention known as Anime League. Today I went to the one in Cardiff after I was approved for a press pass. I went to the convention giving it an opportunity to prove itself wrong against path allegations against its founder Mike Towers and the general notion about how dangerous the convention could be. Obviously my hope would be that the convention had stepped away from its darkened past and potentially do things to improve itself but unfortunately that is just simply not the case. The issue of the convention does fall down into two categories. It's the convention itself and the environment. And I will first of all cover the convention and I'll cover the environment a little bit later in the video. To start with the convention, it was incredibly crowded and a lot of the stores, although there were plenty of people who are legitimate and are very good tradesmen or very good artists, there was a lot of stores that sold very low quality, cheap and knockoff items. These bootleg stores were numerous throughout the entire convention where, near enough, 90% of it was knockoff merchandise which was incredibly cheaply made but sold at extremely high prices. Alongside this, a lot of stores were also selling mystery boxes. Cheap knockoff items, stolen artwork and mystery boxes were all banned from other major conventions and even smaller ones due to the amount of harm they do to the people who own the original artwork, who own the original items and it does put off a lot of convention goers, but Anime League seem to be thriving of the type of stalls. They seem to have that over any legitimate or top quality business. Of course, I will say that the people who are there who are their own craftsmen, make their own artwork and such like are very good quality. And these are the type of people I've seen at other conventions. And I do give these people credit because they are obviously putting themselves out there to sell their stuff and they're doing a good job of it. But when it's compared to really cheap, really overpriced and just knock off items, it does bring down the quality of everyone, not just those particular stalls. And it's always a shame to see these people get mixed up in stalls, in these type of environments that have such negative image for themselves. Alongside that, the convention itself was extremely crowded. A lot of the rooms with stalls in it were filled beyond capacity. People could simply not move about. Access to other floors was constricted to only elevators. This meant people with disabilities and people who struggle in crowds were going to have an extremely difficult time transferring between floors or even going between rooms, seeing as you have to go through these extremely crowded corridors to get to one part to the other. Although it's understandable for a lot of conventions to be very packed and people who may not deal well with crowds may struggle more often, these bigger conventions, even smaller ones, do generally have spaces where people can go to breathe, to feel safe and to not be swept away with the crowds. But the entire area was filled with as many people as they could fit in. There was no outside area for people to sit, to catch their breath. There was no designated seating areas as every single available table and chair was used up for any part of the convention. The events that were going on were, as I could best describe, effortless. They were simply tables set up with generic board games like Monopoly or giving space to people to play Yu-Gi-Oh! or Magic the Gathering. And although that in itself isn't necessarily a problem, that's all there was. There were no demonstrations, there were no introducing people to new games. It was just grab whatever board game you want and find a space and play it. The video game rooms consisted essentially of just games randomly set up on TVs. There was no sense of time scale. So if somebody wanted to sit on a console all day, as far as I could tell, nobody could stop them. Same with the PCs. They had generic games on it, which anybody could play near enough for free at home. And people could just sit on these PCs all day and just hog the console. There was no sense of demonstration, there was no sense of talking about what was on site, there was no sense of information. It was just, here's a screen, sit there, 
until you get bored. And that means a lot of people are stood around watching. This was definitely the case for the tournament area. We consisted of two big screens and at most four players per screen playing whatever games were available at the time. But yet again, there didn't seem to be any sense of time constraint for people. Anyone could just sit there and just keep playing while other people stood around and watched. There was no real atmosphere, there's no real sense of tournament. It was just, just people playing video games. Alongside this, one of the big things which anime do, do is anime showings, but yet again, it was just a small screen at the end of the room with about 30 chairs set up so people could watch one or two episodes of whatever anime is popular at the time. There was no sense of introduction, there was no sense of information, no one was talking about this stuff, it was just... The best way to describe it is putting a toddler in front of a TV screen so they're distracted long enough so you don't have to worry about them. It was just put whatever people had available on a USB drive on a big screen so people could just watch it. This is the same pattern of planning they have put in for other conventions. I went to the Bristol one a few months back, yet again for the same reason to see what it's like, and it was the exact same format, where it was just console set up on TVs, it was just anime put on a small screen, and people just expected to just stand around and watch. There was no engagement, there was no drive for an audience to be a part of this, it was just filling space. I had a press pass, which meant I was able to do a bit more than other people were able to, at least on paper. But walking around the convention, I saw no opportunity, no space to do anything. Obviously, if you're familiar with my videos, the cosplay chat, you know that I talk to cosplayers, but that does require a certain amount of space and a certain noise level. That is just a part of production. There was none of that. There was no area where people who are part of the press were able to experience it and you know give any kind of information about it this may come back round to a history where certain iconic members of anime league have stepped out to go against what people have said about the convention and it may be set up now to discourage people from talking about it outside of it exists obviously i cannot guarantee any of that's true i can't speak on behalf of them but as somebody there for press, that's what it felt like. That I was only there because I could put a post up on Instagram, because I could put a post on Twitter or talk about it on YouTube, but not actually see any of it. See, all of that can be dismissed. That's just simply a convention which isn't switched for everyone. I've been to other bad conventions and conventions which don't hold up, but there's something that Anime League as a convention has done in its history that it simply has not put any effort into correcting. If you want to know about stuff, yet again, in the description below, you can find links to appropriate posts. And a general idea and discussion has always been out there. It's easy enough to research. Being a part of different cosplay communities on Facebook and Instagram means that my algorithm will always show me adverts in regards to conventions. Anime League adverts came up an awful lot leading up to the Cardiff convention. And if you're not familiar, on Facebook there's a feature where you can see why you see certain adverts. When I checked this out on the Anime League one, it listed my hometown and it listed that because I was in between the age 13 and 65. Considering the history of the convention, the fact that they are making adverts and selecting them to be targeted at people age 13 is extremely dangerous. Alongside that, the adverts are also targeted at people of a much larger age bracket. And not to say that all people older of are of a certain nature, but it's to say that a convention like that being targeted at a much older audience has a certain risk to it. A risk which at no point throughout the convention felt it was 
dealt with or considered or handled in any capacity. The entire convention was very open to just about anyone. There were no age restricted areas, there were no facilities that was obviously targeted at much younger people or much older people. It was a panel room, it was a games room, it was a shopping room. All of it was one area, which meant people who are 13 are rubbing shoulders with people who are 40, 50 and up. And the convention itself was held in a hotel. I mean, I could have literally gone to any floor. The hotel lifts were not restricted. One of the convention areas was held on a floor with actual hotel rooms on it. And I'm sure it goes without saying, but that's dangerous. That's really dangerous. It wouldn't take an awful lot for somebody with ill intentions to take someone up to a room. And the fact is, the convention There was nobody around moderating this. There were obviously staff, and I'm sure they were doing the best they could to keep the convention running, but the fact is, there was no sense of security for people who are younger. These children and young teenagers may be going by themselves, maybe in groups of friends, but they weren't protected. Combine this with the fact that there were multiple bars available throughout the convention, and although the staff at the hotel were obviously doing their job to moderate the bar and to obviously ID people as they get served. There was no one walking around checking who was drinking. There was no one walking around checking that people were drinking when they were of age. There was no one walking around the convention making sure that people under age weren't drinking. And I don't blame the hotel staff necessarily for this because ultimately it comes down to the convention to ensure that everyone who goes there is being responsible. I've seen at other conventions where rather the staff or security of the venue are escorting people off site due to inappropriate behaviour. They could be underage drinking or just being rowdy, but none of that felt, none of that sense of security was felt at the Anime League convention. Alongside this, an awful lot of Stalls were selling stuff which could be considered of an adult nature, although it may not necessarily be pornographic. It was definitely more mature. These are including stuff like body pillows and artwork of semi-naked or hentai, soft hentai, where female characters are wearing extremely tight clothes or male characters are basically topless and Although people are interested in this stuff, and I do not belittle people who are, because everyone has their own interests, the fact is this is a convention targeted at much younger audiences, allowing a much older sense of selling going on. The people are being sold stuff which they are simply not age appropriate for. This also came down to some of the things that were happening in the board game room. I know if one of the board games was an adult edition And that would mean the questions and answers involved are adult related. This is obviously extremely inappropriate content for people who are in a much younger disposition. One of the wonderful things about cosplay, one of the things I love about it, it gives people a sense of confidence. It gives people a sense of, you know, passion, love. They go out in these outfits that they made, they bought, and they can feel good in in the outfit, they can feel good about themselves, they can feel a sense of inner strength that they may not get anywhere else. In this world, it is, a lot of people are feeling in a very vulnerable position, so to be able to put on an outfit and feel strong for even just one day is amazing, because this also means that people who are younger may feel more mature. This means people who are younger may feel they are more responsible than their age group may generally be considered for. This does mean that they are able to make bad decisions. This means that they are able to make wrong choices with much higher consequences. And unfortunately, a lot of people out there take advantage of people 
in that nature. And the fact that there is a convention out there that allows an environment to exist where that can happen, along with their forums where people aren't moderated. It is a self-moderating forum and people are able to post a lot of stuff on there and it may not be considered dangerous by the people who run it, where other forums may be moderated by separate people. It, it harbours a nature of danger. It allows people to put themselves in a position where they can take advantage of unconfident, unsure, younger people who may generally just want to go out and enjoy themselves and may not know better. Unfortunately, that's just a part of growing up, if not knowing better. But as long as people are around to ensure that young people don't do stupid things, then they're generally safer. But the fact is, Anime League, it opens itself up to allow very dangerous situations. And I don't want to insult the efforts of people who are trying to do their best. I don't want to insult people who go out of their way to be more mature, to do what they think is best. But I do need to tell you that Anime League is dangerous. And although that is a general consensus, I can tell you now from somebody who just walked out of the convention like two hours ago, that it is not a safe place for young people. It is not a safe place for vulnerable people. It's not a safe place for disabled people. It is an area, it is a space that has not changed since a lot of the controversy from few and many years back. It has not done anything to change its image. It has persisted in this very warped idea of what a convention should be. And unfortunately, as long as people go to the convention, this nature is still going to exist. And I understand that people may love going to the Anime League. And if you do, and if you feel safe there, then good for you. But ultimately, I will have to tell people not to go. And if you are a parent of children who cosplay, don't get, take them there. Don't let them go to that convention. There are significantly better conventions out there. And there are some plenty of places where you can get the best information to find out where to take young cosplayers, what to do in certain situations. And just chucking them, chucking Anime League, your money is not going to help. And it's going to keep harboring a very dangerous, a very worrying part of the cosplay community. And I hope that you look at the links below and understand Anime League's history and I hope that you understand or take better consideration before taking your children or your younger friends or other family members or just about anyone to the convention that it is not safe. There's not much more I can say. A lot of opinions have been put out around about it. And you can follow these opinions and you can listen to what other people say about it. But for me, as the person who hosts Cosplay Chat, as the person who is so passionate about cosplay and conventions, I hope you take this as a word of warning and that you, that you really think about if Anime League is suitable for you and people you know. Uh, it's the best I can really say to it and honestly I hope you all do well there, I hope you all are smart enough about this and I hope that you do not face the type of troubles that Anime League have inflicted on cosplayers in the past and I will sign off now. Thank you for watching, thank you for considering and thank you for listening. And please stay safe because cosplay is it's something for people to feel good about. No one should ever feel in danger or unsafe or uneasy in cosplay. That's what I can say.